Welcome to video two of my little statics review. We've done the course overview. The next thing we want to talk about is what are the objects that we studied this semester. There aren't very many of them. In general, we had particles, rigid bodies, and systems. The biggest thing you've got to be able to do when we start talking about objects is identify which one is which from any given problem. It's not a bad question to sort of have go through your head at the very beginning of looking at a problem. What is this? And to know, to be able to answer that question, you've got to know what the requirements are to treat each of them as one and the other. Now remember, systems is the huge overview that includes everything else. A rigid body is just a special case of a system. A rigid body is only one object. A system is more than one rigid body. So your Venn diagram could be this has one or this has more than one. It's your flowchart. Particles are subsets of rigid bodies. Now again, this is not how we did it in class, but this is how it is. The requirements to treat an object as a particle is that you have some spot where you can consider the only loads acting on that spot as concurrent. There are only forces. Nothing about that point is going to rotate because it's just a point. Um, Remember that a particle can be any object. It doesn't have to be a subatomic particle. It could certainly be a school bus. The big question is, are the forces concurrent? If so, if you've got a spot where the only things acting at that point are concurrent forces, then it's a particle. If not, if you have a system where you have forces that are not concurrent, remember in 2D, not concurrent forces have to be parallel. In 3D, not concurrent forces can be parallel or skew. That gives you a single rigid body. The big question about a system is, can you solve your problem without disassembling it? So when you come to count your forces, how many unknowns do you have? How many equations do you have? If you cannot solve, then you have to do some disassembly. Then you have a system. If you can solve, if you have no more unknowns than you already have equations for based on our simple equations of equilibrium, some of the forces and the sum of the moments equal zero, then you have a rigid body. So you need to understand what the criteria are that separate one of these from the other of these.